Deep beneath the rugged terrain, concealed from the prying eyes of the modern world, lies an ancient tunnel, a forgotten gateway to a long-lost civilization. As the torchlight flickers, revealing intricate carvings and cryptic symbols, the air crackles with anticipation. Step by step, explorers venture into the unknown, their hearts pounding with excitement, for what lies ahead could rewrite history itself. This is the mystery of the ancient tunnel and the life jacket that was found in the lake. A bizarre incident in the suburbs in 2003 left a lasting impression. A regular U.S. Navy life jacket with an identification inscription was discovered in Lake Bazdanoi by the driver of the Vereshinskaya Village Administration, Vladimir Seychenko. This item belonged to Sailor Sam Belovsky from the destroyer Cowell, which was blown up by terrorists on October 12, 2000, in the port of Aden. Sam Belovsky was among the ten sailors that were lost and ten sailors who sadly died. Maybe the information is wrong and there is no mystery. The life jacket was uncovered and the inscriptions on it directly identified the sailor, Cowell S. Belovsky. It was identified after questioning direct witnesses and participants in the reported occurrence. But after traveling 4,000 kilometers in a straight line in three years, could a life jacket from the Indian Ocean reach the lake, lost in the expanse of central Russia? Where did he go? As a result, it appears that there are some undiscovered tunnels and underground passageways linking the continent's more dispersed regions. But who constructed them, when, and for what purposes? The Marble Cave, which lies in the Chatterdag mountain range and is 900 meters above sea level, is well known in Crimea. A large hall in the shape of a pipe, measuring roughly 20 meters in length and partly filled with karst sediments and stones that have fallen as a result of multiple earthquakes, welcomes tourists as they descend into the cave. It is reasonable to assume that the marble cave is a remnant of an ancient tunnel, the main part of which was located in a mountain massive destroyed by an asteroid, which is at least 30 million years old. The Black Sea Basin was formed at the boundary between the Eocene and Oligocene about 30 million years ago as a result of the fall of a large asteroid that cut off and destroyed the main ridge Crimean Mountains. According to the most recent findings from Crimean speleologists, Simias and Alupka are picturesquely hung over a vast hollow that was found beneath the Ip Tree Mountain. In addition, tunnels linking the Caucasus and the Crimea were found. It was discovered during one of the trips that there are tunnels beneath the Uvarov Ridge, opposite Mount Eris, one of which links to the Crimean Peninsula, and the other of which extends to the Volga area through the cities of Krasnodar, Yisk, and Rostov-on-Don. The Krasnodar area is said to have a branch that leads to the Caspian Sea. Unfortunately, the expedition's participants did not offer any more specific details. Additionally, the infamous Medvedetskaya Ridge, which has been sufficiently studied by the Cosmopoist missions since 1997, is situated in the Volga area. A confluence or crossroads, Medvedetskaya Ridge is where tunnels from different locations, notably the Caucasus, converge. According to contactee Anton Anfalov, from here you may go not only to Crimea, but also to Russia's far northern territory, New Earth, and ultimately the continent of North America. Long known in the Caucasus, near Jelenshik is a vertical shaft that is straight as an arrow, about one and a half meters in diameter and more than 100 meters deep. Additionally, it has a smooth appearance similar to melted walls. The analysis of their properties revealed that the formation of a crust in the rock was 1 to 1.5 m thick and gave it extremely durable properties that are not even possible with today's technology. It's possible that this is one of the vertical shafts joining a horizontal tunnel that runs from this location to the Medvedetskaya Ridge in the Volga region. Let's now move to the region of Western Europe, more specifically to the Slovenian and Polish border, where the Beskidi mountain range of the Tatra range is located. Queen Beskid, Mount Babia, which has a height of 1725 m, rises here. According to Vincent, a local, his father insisted that the two of them travel from the hamlet to Babiagora in the 1960s of the 20th century. 
They entered a large hall that was fashioned like a giant barrel after traveling a long distance through inclining tunnel. It had a number of tunnels, some of which had a cross section that was triangular and others that were circular. Vincent's father said that he found out that the tunnels from here may reach several nations and continents. Germany, England, and finally, the American continent are all reached via the tunnel on the left. The left tunnel joins the right one in America, while the right one extends to Russia, the Caucasus, China, and Japan after that. According to a report from England, miners heard the noises of functioning machinery while driving a tunnel for economic reasons. The miners discovered a stairway leading to the well after cutting through the stone mass, and the noises of moving parts got louder. Renowned researcher Andrew Thomas has uncovered evidence of ancient underground tunnels across the American continent. California's Mount Shasta is one of the nodes where multiple mines come together. To the states of California and New Mexico, trails depart from her. This is supported by the story of Iris and Nick Marshall, a couple who went into a cave near the little Californian town of Bishop in the Casa Diablo Mountains. Reports of perfectly preserved tunnels with burnt walls, strange hieroglyphic writings, and faint beams of light streaming from small holes have emerged. In 1980, a massive hollow space was discovered near the California coast, potentially revealing a junction station within this intricate underground network. Anthropologist James McKean visited a large cave in Idaho and traveled down a wide stone tunnel for several hundred meters. The historic Satano de las Galandrinas cave, with a depth of almost a kilometer and a breadth of several hundred meters, is located in one of Mexico's most desolate and scarcely inhabited regions. Its sheer walls are perfectly smooth and level, and at this level its bottom is a true labyrinth of distinct rooms, passages, and tunnels that split off in various ways. One of the Intercontinental Tunnels notes, South America is not behind the North in terms of the number of tunnels. Professor E. von Deniken recently conducted research beneath the Nazca Desert that revealed several kilometers of tunnels through which crystal clear water continues to flow. Additionally, Southeast Asia is not hindered by the lack of ancient tunnels. With its initiates in a state of Samadhi, which means neither living nor dead, they have been sitting in the lotus position there for hundreds of thousands of years. The renowned Shamhala is located in various caves in Tibet that are connected by underground pathways and tunnels. Chinese archaeologists found a hidden path that took them into an underground labyrinth in the Hunan province of China, on the south bank of Dongting Lake, southwest of Wuhan City. The smoothness and meticulous processing of its stone walls led experts to rule out their natural origin. The archaeologists entered a sizable underground chamber with various paintings on its walls and ceiling via one of the several properly spaced tunnels. One of the sketches shows a hunting scenario, and above it were gods, dressed in modern clothing, who were seated in what looked a lot like a UFO device. According to legend, there are secret halls rooms and passages under the pyramids and especially under the Sphinx in Egypt. These beings are supposed to have a significant impact on the Egyptian conception of the gods or to be the same as their deities, according to certain parascientific hypotheses that claim a super race once withdrew there into the depths of the earth. A library of wisdom, containing all information about this planet and the cosmos, is allegedly located under the paws of the Sphinx. We are all stunned by these discoveries and more thrilled than before. What do we think is this anyway realistic? It has unveiled the wonders of a forgotten world and ignited the quest for further exploration. Do let us know what I think about this in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel for future mystic content.